couple of weeks ago when I stood here with the, uh, uh, the Health Minister and the Secretary, uh, we gave you an update on where the vaccines were at at that stage and we undertook to keep people updated on that. And uh, it's important that we be as transparent as we possibly can. Uh, this is a global challenge uh, like none we've seen in a very, very long time. And there will be uh, challenges along the way and we are addressing them. Um, just uh, uh, earlier today, uh, the Therapeutic Goods Administration, Professor Skerritt, announced that they had approved the Pfizer vaccine for uh, people over, aged over 16 years here in Australia. I note that this is not an emergency approval, as has been done in some other jurisdictions around the world. This is a formal approval under the ordinary processes uh, of, of the TGA. And we are one of the first countries uh, in the handful of countries to have gone through that comprehensive and thorough process here in Australia uh, to ensure the approval of that vaccine. Uh, now, uh, their work will con continue as it has been in parallel uh, regarding the AZ vaccine as well. And we look forward to their thorough work, but also um, their timely work as they've demonstrated in getting us to where we are today on Pfizer. Now, we remain on track to have um, those vaccines in Australia and, and ready to go from very small beginnings, I should stress, very small beginnings. Starting small, we scale up as we outlined in the plan that we advised to you some weeks ago. Um, we're more looking at late February than mid-February now um, because of the challenges that we've seen uh, in the production and delivery for both AZ and Pfizer around the world. You'll be very aware of the situation and the pressures that we're seeing globally.